Welcome guys, oh. welcome back to that horror couple. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we're back to do another awesome horror movie review for you guys today. Um, The new film, Clock. Oh, that, just that came she out wants today. is another baby. <laughs> She's going to Mars for it. I know oh, that, that song. she wants <laughs> is another baby. Hey, hey. Ace of Base is oh, that song. Okay. I think it's a 90s song, so there I you go. I saw the song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Opened up. <laughs> Today we're here to do uh, the movie Clock from Hulu. Yes. So let's talk about it. And if you're scared to have kids or the childbirth process grosses you out, this yeah, movie this will scare yeah. you even more. Yeah, it goes there. It goes yeah. there. Yeah, you got to like get on the clock if you want children. Yeah, apparently there's a biological clock that women have. And yes. The character in this movie doesn't have one. And all the pressure to have kids... This and then then the, what she goes through it's creepy as fuck. Yes, I try to avoid this at all costs. That's yeah. why I make a mess on uh, Kaylee's lower back usually. God, <laughs> that's my target. <laughs> by writer-director Alexis Jack now will follow a woman's desperate attempt to fix her broken biological clock. Starring Diana Agron, Melora Hardin, and Jay Alley. So the film opens up and we see this woman at a playground late at night. This is a spoiler oh. review, by the way, guys. So spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Um, yes, I will. But it, this woman is at a playground late at night and she looks very, very distraught. Um, she is playing with like a swing you're like what is she doing and you realize she's hanging herself with the swing set yes and that's a hell of a yeah scene. it starts off pretty grim i um, tell you clock wastes yeah, no time no it gets right to the to the point yes <laughs> we get to meet our main character ella who, ella yeah yeah who is at a party with her friends and they're all was it like about, a baby shower yeah it's like a baby shower they were like, or something girlfriend i yeah. am pregnant i know her best friend is like pregnant feel the belly yeah and she's like you want to feel it she's like no and they're like you know, your your clock will start working, you know, when are you going to have kids? And, like, yeah. it's just, like, it shows, like, society, like, pressure, how much pressure they put on women to, like, have children, I think. And this main character felt it with all her girlfriends. Mm -hmm. and, and then at some point, like, her actual family, too. And yeah, her father. Weren't were, were they flipping through, like, the family album? Yeah, mm-hmm. And, uh... Her father was like asking her why there's an empty seat at the table because she's married and he's like, when are you guys going to fill that seat? You know, when, when are you going to have children? And she just doesn't really want children. She well, doesn't have the urge to have them. Does she not want it or is she on the fence about it? She, she's she's like, kind of, she, no, she does not want them. She uh, doesn't. Yeah, okay. she doesn't want the kids. And she's, and she's letting like these other people like come in and out of her ear, like trying to listen to what they, they want well, instead of what she wants. If they come on her ear, she won't get pregnant. Uh, you know what I mean? What did he say? <laughs> I said lower back, but yeah. you can also do the ear kids. <laughs> and eventually this character, she's taken to like this gynecologist scene. And it's actually mm -hmm. a creepy scene. Like the doctor's office is shot weird, weird angles. Like the examination gloves, the feet up in the stirrups. And it just it, reminds you of how uncomfortable it is yeah, in the doctor's the, office. The music in this film is definitely creepy. Mm -hmm. That's a like for me. Yeah. Um, and then eventually I she's looking on Instagram or something so she starts getting a little bit of baby fever just a little bit like I think she's on the fence a little bit like I said before I feel like she just feels pressure yeah. that's just how I interpreted it maybe you interpreted it different but, but what, I just feel like what it's... is with Instagram anyway I'm scrolling through and everybody's either posting their food or their ugly kids I don't understand no, I love kids oh my god like I don't want I don't care what you're eating and I don't want to see your kids well they probably don't care what we're watching either so there you go you don't I do but other people probably don't you guys don't care <laughs> but there, there was one point where like she starts getting it on with her husband and mm -hmm. she's like I want to conceive a baby and this is like while they're getting it on yeah and the husband like like breaks it up and he's yeah. like wait a minute he feels like she feels pressure yeah he's so. like what are you talking mm -hmm. about and then like this is like in the middle of sex she starts an argument mm -hmm. and you know let me tell you, nothing breaks up a boner faster than an argument. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Seriously, the penis is going like this. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he... Hey, guys. Into guys, it. come on. Yeah. Let, let, let's get back to it. Come on. So she ends up going uh, to this treatment center that the gynecologist gave her the name of this doctor who's running, like, this, it, this experimental procedure of, like, getting a woman's biological clock working again. Basically saying this procedure will make you want to have children. It'll give you that desire. It'll give you, like, that maternal feeling. And um, a lot of weird things happen while she's there. 
um, she's confronted by like a lot of like psychological things that she has like she that she had buried that like come to the surface while she's there. And this doctor at this clinic is so freaking creepy. Dr. Simmons, yeah. Dude, there's something like so like white about her. Like she looks like she's on like Fox News. She looks yeah. like a rich <laughs> she's like a rich white lady. Yeah. Those people scare the fuck out yeah. of me. Like I don't trust her. Yeah, no, no. She gives off very like <laughs> Red, a lot of red flags, a lot of creepy vibes. So. Okay. Yeah, but uh, no, but yeah, but she says she's saying take these pills, take these pills. Mm -hmm. Keeps giving her pills, and these mm -hmm. pills make her start seeing shit. They do, and it's so creepy, dude. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does she start seeing? She sees like this really, really tall woman who's actually supposed to be like a like a, a version of her grandmother she or sees her the great grandmother. Gran she sees the grandfather clock. Yeah, the grandfather clock. She's seen visions of her of her family's heirloom, like a grandfather clock. She sees this really, really tall, demonic looking woman. And she just she's just having these episodes and when the and when she leaves the treatment center they just get progressively worse which is really right. sad and one of the biggest likes for me would have to just be like the unknown of this whole story like mm -hmm. we don't know if the if if the main character is crazy or we don't know if like it's a side effect of the drugs. Yeah. We don't know if the doctor is nuts. We don't mm -hmm. know what the hell is going on. Yeah. But we're seeing it from her point of view and she's mm -hmm. seeing stuff. I remember one time she was out shopping for paint and she couldn't find the right color paint. Yeah, it was like the world. She it, had really bad vertigo and the yeah, world was it, like spinning. It was like, and it was blurry. It was really strange. Yeah, it looked but, like she was like high on drugs, but really I think it was, you're right. This whole movie, you're like, what the hell is going yeah, on? Yeah, it's kind of weird because you don't know what's going on. And at um, one point, her friend is about to have her baby. So she's she's an artist. So they ask her to redo their nursery. And we think she's, you know, doing a great job. Like, she's painting, like, nice things. Come to find out, like, because of the side effects of the medication, she's, like, turned it into, like, this demonic-looking haunted house weird room. Like, they're very upset. Mm -hmm. She's so upset her water breaks. The friend. Yeah, yeah it, it's a it's a really sad, like uncomfortable scene. Didn't the doctor recommend like an implant too inside her? Yeah, that's like what some... they put inside of her, ah. literally like a, a thing that was circular like a clock. They put it inside of her and, and that's said, what changed. He said she had to go inside this whole tube thing too. Yeah, it's it was, very it's very claustrophobic yeah, and it's very Very freaky. uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it gives off a lot of uncomfortable vibes. It's one of those movies. That just, it makes you uncomfortable from start to finish. And then another like for me would have to be like the wicked ass twist of this whole thing mm -hmm. is that, spoiler alert, we find out that her husband, who we thought was on the same page of, with her not having kids, mm -hmm. he was behind her going to this clinic. Yeah, trying to get her to want to have children. And them treating her like a lab rat. Yeah, he was lying to her the whole time. It was awful. That bastard. I know, he sucks. <laughs> Didn't he get his dick like chopped or something? No, else? she. he went to have sex with her and the doctor said she had to wait a full three weeks mm -hmm. and she only waited two. And the thing inside of her like, you know split him down there made ah. him start gushing blood on his like you know penis <laughs> is, it, is, this, is, this, is this a sammy slaughter review i know right, right? shout out to sammy <laughs> make sure you check out her videos too i'll link her down for below <laughs> bizarre, for brutal penis chopping films go yeah, to check sammy, out slaughter. sammy slaughter there you go <laughs> and there's a point in the movie this is probably my least favorite part of the film uh we see her and her father get into like a really bad argument back and forth and we see our main character attack the grandfather clock and that's what you think she's attacking in that scene but the come yeah. the twist, you can say, come to find out. The twist is she, she actually became a murderer and murdered mm -hmm. her pop. So yeah, because of like, the side effects know. of the medication so, made her see things. Yeah, it ends with like a high-speed police chase mm -hmm. and uh, she's on the run and... Uh, it's just really sad. She took pliers to her vagina, actually. And, and ripped that thing ripped out. Ripped the implant out and yeah. that is clock. Yeah, and she, yeah, it's not a very good movie. <laughs> Which brings us to our dislikes. Our dislikes. I didn't like this movie. I won't watch it again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to be... 100% honesty. I didn't like it. I didn't, yeah, I just didn't like it. So as far as dislike to the film, I have to say I really didn't enjoy this one very much at all. I feel like it took a while to get to where we needed to be with the twist and everything. And the last couple minutes of the movie, everything happens all at once. And it's just not a satisfying ending. No. It, it ends on a downer. It's really sad. And not in a satisfying way. It, it's just not good. <laughs> the movie is like all suspense mm -hmm. where you're like, what the hell's going on? What the mm -hmm. hell's going on? What the hell's going on? And then nothing's really explained. Mm -mm. And then, like, we finally get, like, the answer within the last 10 minutes. Yeah. So it's like we waited, like, an hour and a half just to get, like, some, like, ending that it didn't feel like. It didn't feel satisfying. Yeah. yeah it the, wasn't... Pay the payoff wasn't that good. Mm -mm. Because so, it just ended abruptly. Yeah, it ended I very was like, fast. And it, and it huh? was just really sad. And it was just terrible. So, yeah. so the yeah. movie, it kind of falls flat at the end toward for me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll ever rewatch it again. Mm -hmm. But... It's good for a first time, like a one-time watch. If you're looking for something 
something weird about like if you're afraid of pregnancy and stuff like that and, and you want to watch something that'll terrify you in that kind of subject, I suggest watching it. But I don't suggest, you know, watching it over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, I, but it, it's a cool film mm -hmm. just for being on Hulu for yeah. free and check out. Yeah. It's available on Hulu. Yeah. Check it out on Hulu. What's your overall score? I give it like a five out of ten. I'll yeah. I'll give it a six. Yeah, I'll give it like a five. It's I, a I won't six watch it again. It's, so. not, it's okay. It's not, not, that, not good. that good. Make sure you guys are hitting that bell to be notified about all of our new horror movie trailer reactions, horror movie reviews. Make sure you're liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Once again, I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we'll see you guys soon.